The draft constitution for the proposed alliance did not receive approval at the United National Party Working Committee meeting held at the Temple Trees yesterday. It is in this backdrop a decision was taken by the party leadership to make several amendments to the constitution last night with the presence of other leaders from the National Freedom Front. Speaking to Adhaderana General Secretary of the United National Party, Minister Akila Viraj Karyavasam said that during last night's meeting, it was decided to go ahead with the signing of Memorandum of Understanding to enter into a new alliance next Monday, the 5th of August, as initially planned. Meanwhile, non-cabinet minister Ajit P. Peri represented the proposed amendments for the constitution to the party leadership by way of letter. Among the proposed amendments put forth for the constitution is that the secretary of the proposed National Democratic Front should be a member of the United National Party, while the official address of the alliance will be the UNP party headquarters at Sirikota. It has also been proposed that the UNP should hold the decisive power in the decisions-making process of the executive committee of the alliance. It also states that the tenure of the alliance's leader should be guaranteed for two years. Furthermore, the presidential candidate of the proposed alliance should receive approval at the joint meeting between the UNP MPs and the Working Committee. Several UNPers voiced their views on the UNP Executive Committee meeting held last evening at various forums today. The United National Party has given its blessing to the leader to go ahead with the formation of a broad political alliance. Discussions are being held because there were various views raised by several UNP MPs and ministers on the constitution, it was decided to make certain amendments. We formed a committee and hope to present the amended constitution to the leader in two days. Mano Ganeshan, Rao Fakim, Rishad Badidin, and P. Digambaram all said that their parties and the majority of their areas prefer Sajid Premadasa. On the 5th of August, we will be forming a new alliance led by the UNP in preparation for elections. I have openly said that I support Sajid Premadasa and because of that, there are those who have said that I will be removed from my position as sports minister. Therefore, I wish to tell certain individuals who played a part in destroying this government that I will help Sajid Premadasa and if he wants, he can remove me from my posts. I will hand my resignation because, as I said, if Sajid Premadasa is not nominated, then I have no interest in engaging in politics any further. This is my personal view. We held a lengthy discussion on how to make the 5th of August a success without letting anyone destroy our efforts. The people will witness a turning point of this country very soon. We will put an end to becoming henchmen for foreign nations. I wish to tell you all that if the right decision is made, then we will be able to introduce a top government and a president. This is the message that I wanted to spread.